Good morning, hot dogs, and welcome back to the morning announcements. And today's announcements for we will be talking about jobs, crash, auditions, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Auditions for the fall play will be today. You don't need anything other than a positive attitude to audition. No experience needed. Auditions will be right after school in the theater. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Taylor. Arby's is now hiring. It has flexible hours, full and part-time job positions. For more information, click the link in the chat or below. Now to the weather and sports. Thank you, Craig. For today's weather, it will be 67 degrees with a high of 84 and a low of 66, cooling to hang out, yet hot enough to need three popsicles. Earlier this morning, it was foggy, but not a lot, so you can see very well. But today, there is a chance that it will rain, so when it does, take your dogs and cats inside so they won't get wet or give an umbrella. <laughs> That'll be it for today. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Now to sports with Austin. Thanks, Pedro. The boys' tennis team has a match tonight against Fountain Central at 5. Last night, it was a rough start for both girls' and boys' soccer teams. Let's go to Nelson and Avi with the game's recaps. Last night, the Lady Hot Dogs soccer team opened their season hosting the Logan Sport Berries. The Lady, Hot, the Lady Dogs were going to have a tough go since they were missing several players due to injury, contact tracing, and practice ineligibility. Those things aside, the Lady Hot Dogs were optimistic with trotting out a starting lineup that had lots of uh, starting experience with seven girls that were returning varsity letter winners and have all started multiple games in the past. The team played hard the whole night and showed improvement from the scrimmage. However, with several new faces on the varsity and, and girls playing a little outside their usual positions, the team fell by a score of 8-0. While the score was very lopsided, there was some standout play by several players, starting with the senior captain, Mia Hernandez, who was playing all over the field from her spot in the central midfield and tried to will her team into victory with her effort alone. Sophomore Esme Vasquez-Sanchez and freshman Judith Sariba both had really strong varsity debuts on the defense that was under constant pressure. They both played hard and made some fantastic decisions while making it difficult for Logan Sport offense players to get a clean look at the goal. While scoring doesn't quite reflect how well they did, both Vanessa Guajardo and Clarissa Casinera had good nights in the goal with both of them making some great saves to prevent the ninth goal of the game. A save from each stands out to the coaching staff with Vanessa's coming in the first half on the shot from her right that she had to jump back and punch over <laughs> the goal on what looked like for sure perfect floater ball. Clarissa's save came late in the second half. She made about zero saves in about 30 seconds from point blank range. Now on to AV. Thanks, Nelson. Last night, the Frankfurt Boys soccer team also opened up their 2021 season against Logan Sport Berries. Logan Sport jumped out to a quick lead after being able to put a home a shot that rebounded. Frankfurt regrouped quickly and held off the Berries' push to get an insurance goal. Logan Sport got their insurance goal halfway through the first half. Logan Sport would score another goal midway through the second half. Three unfortunate fouls just inside the penalty area resulted in three penalty kicks. Logan Sport was able to convert in all three. Standout performers of the match were juniors Marcos Garcia and Felipe Tovar, as well as seniors Yobi Tornado and Damian Lopez and Alex Campos. The Hot Dogs played hard throughout the game, but ended up dropping their season opener 0-6. Frankfurt opens up a conference play on Thursday at home against Western Boone. Kickoff will be around 7 p.m. following the girls' soccer match against Sheridan. The Frankfurt JV boys soccer also opened up their 2021 season against Logan Sport and found themselves down two goals halfway through the half. The th team rallied behind senior keeper Jose Baderas after a couple of great saves and then started testing the Barry's defense. With about 10 minutes left in the first half with freshman Cesar Elenis and sophomore Marcelino Cervantes to put a hot dogs with one. A minute later, Marcelino, Marcelino Cervantes slammed home a rebound shot from Cesar Elenis to tie the game 2-2. Despite several good scoring opportunities in the last 10 minutes, the Logan Sport defense held firm and held, ended the game at 2-2. This is Avi. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, guys. There will be a call meeting Friday, August 20th during community in the library. The meeting is for any girls grades 9 through 12 interested in playing basketball. 
Any questions or concerns, please contact Coach Britt in room 116 during the school day. Next Friday will be our first home football game. The theme of the game will be neon. Student council will be selling neon gear before school next week and at the game. Make sure to get yours and help the dogs dig out the gophers. If you want to support the Latino community in pursuing a higher education, then click the link in the chatter. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Deadline to apply for the Crash Club is Tuesday, September 14th. And don't forget that parking tags and drug test warrants are due by August 20th, this Friday. Parking lot sweeps will happen after August 20th. Make sure to have them turned in. Happy birthday to Paloma Campos and Yesenia Coro. For lunch today, we will be having cheeseburgers, line one and two cheeseburgers, and lines three and four, biscuits and gravy. Tomorrow, we'll be having chicken smackers and barbecue or sloppy joe. That's it for today's announcements. If you enjoyed watching, make sure to give us a like. If you'd like to hear more about what's going on at FHS, subscribe and turn that post notifications on. We hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday. Stay safe.